Hey, I'm Goose, and welcome to Scoop. Today on the show, news from the first Minecon Earth event, Flicker Heroes ain't free no more, and a bunch of cheaters are cheating their way to the top of the Mario Odyssey skipping rope challenge. Plus, I check out a game I know nothing about, because we haven't picked it yet. Have we sorted out what the game is? Ugh, how professional. <laughs> Well, can we sort it out soon? I've got a spin to news! <laughs> and first up, the digitally revamped Minecraft convention known as Minecon Earth was held recently and brought with it a slew of announcements. Among the many nuggets of information, we learned through song that the Super Duper graphics pack would be delayed until sometime next year. We also found out the flying Stingray mod known as the Monster of the Night Skies, which will swoop down in groups and bite your flesh if you haven't slept enough, won the fan vote to be in the game. Yikes. And we got a big look at the next major update coming sometime next year called the Update Aquatic, which will add things like new water physics, coral, shipwrecks, a trident weapon, fish you can capture and put in an aquarium, and most importantly, dolphins that can lead you to treasure. I'm dolphinately looking forward to that one, and yes, I said dolphinately on porpoise. <laughs> Thanks very much. And next up, Clicker Heroes developer Playsaurus will abandon the free-to-play model for Clicker Heroes 2. In a lengthy post on their website, Playsaurus announced it will be releasing the game for a single upfront payment rather than as a free game supported by microtransactions. The developers say they became uncomfortable with the small number of players who would spend thousands of dollars in their in-game store and felt wrong making money off people who may be in denial about a potential addiction. Smart move, Playsaurus. You're the real clicker heroes. And finally, players or cheaters are setting impossibly high scores in Super Mario Odyssey's skipping rope challenge thanks to a glitch. The glitch allows players to use the talker to as a way of pausing Mario mid-animation. When that's combined just right with the skip rope, Mario can float in mid-air and blitz his way to a high score of 99,999. Of course, anyone who does that is a big fat cheater and their scores don't count, so pfft. All right, now it's time to go play a game. Have we picked one yet? Have we sorted this out? Oh, we have. Oh, well then away I go. I'm spinning in now for a hands-on with a game I know nothing about called Animal Super Squad. Now, this was literally thrown in front of me just moments ago. All I can tell from the title is that maybe there are animals in it, you're in some kind of squad, and things are super. Think of it as some kind of video game lucky dip. We don't know if it's going to be good, bad, or somewhere in between. So, with that in mind, let's dive in and see what on earth this game is about. I am a chicken. In a pipe? Oh dear. Oh, I'm in control. For this game, Goose shall be a chook. All right, so I can roll and I can jump. And this is not traditionally how chooks move. Checkpoint. Okay. Jump. Ah! 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 Oh, no! Oh, little chicken! All right, we're, we're rolling with it. Let's just go. Poor guy. Through a barrel. Oh. Poor little... Oh, my word. This poor little guy. What is going on? I'm riding in a toilet. What game is this, guys? Okay, so I can accelerate, I can brake, and I can boost, and I can knock the chicken out. And we're gonna boost up here, and we're gonna flip, and we're gonna land. I'm assuming I can't land on my head. That was one of the things in Trials. If I land like that... Nah, he's fine. He's quite a resilient little chook. Can I go backwards? Yes! Toilets can reverse. Who would've thunk it? Ooh. Okay, so the maps have little secrets, I'm going to assume. So if we boost our way up, boom. We lose our front tyres? Oh, this just, this makes things easier. Because a toilet with two wheels is... Ah! Oh, no! Oh, little chickadee! Buddy, your toilet blew up. All right, I guess we just roll from here. I assume I can't die either. He's one of... <laughs> Okay, okay, chicken can just get around on two wheels on fire. Greatest game ever. What? Oh, this is great. We're not dead yet. No. World's greatest chook. Fire. Fire. Gonna die. Splash. Chickens aren't waterproof. Onwards we go. Over the boost. Hit the button. Riding a toilet like a pro. Front flip for style. Hits the button. End of level? Unlock new pilot, Ethan the Frog. Just gonna put it out there, guys. Possibly the weirdest game I've played all year. Also kind of the most fun. Eject chicken from toilet. Or just flush chicken down toilet. And up we 
go. Over we roll. That looks like the finish. Right. That wasn't what I was expecting, but it was fun. Okay, so we've got a vehicle selection here. We had the Flushmaster, the toilet, uh, and a bunch of others. So let's start with the Flushmaster. Ruthie was the chook, uh, and Ethan is the frog. Oh, what? What is that? Ooh. We're a sloth, my mistake. This is a sloth, not a frog. Poor little guy. Just use your legs like a real... Do, do sloths even use their legs? They kind of use their arms. Into the teleporter. I mean, this whole game is nuts. Oh, he must be dizzy by now. Flushmaster. Do it. No. What? Huh? All right, and we're off. <laughs> Whoa! And boost. Yes! Go, Ethan, you legend! Oh, I'm sorry, Rookie, but... Favourite new character here. No front wheels. Don't need them. <laughs> okay. Possibly did need them. It's clearly getting trickier. The physics are just going haywire. Dun, 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 dun. Ethan the Daredevil Sloth. Rocking through the level. This might be my favourite game of the year. Woo! Flip the style. Ethan, come on! Ethan, no! Reset. Probably need all four wheels. Let's be honest. Oh! <laughs> Poor little guy. Through the barrels. Through the finish and... Yes! Ethan with the win. Blows up into infinity. I think we're going to leave it there. So that was a hands-on with Animal Super Squad. A very pleasant surprise. I guess if I had to define the game, you would call it a racing physics puzzler, kind of in the same style of something like Trials HD. But of course, this game, you've got a much wackier sense of humor with uh, crazy animal characters, and of course, you're riding in a toilet. And I, for one, am totally okay with this, because on top of that wackiness, you do have a very rich physics system in there, which makes the platforming and the puzzling systems actually quite intense. There are a lot of obstacles to get around, and you can see just from that chaotic level level design that you're going to reach these areas later on that are going to be almost impossible like those trials levels, but the harder you try and the more you reset, you're eventually going to find a way to get through them. Now this game is in early access and what that means is that they're still developing the game, they've still got a little bit more to work on, but from everything I saw here it seems pretty polished. The art style looks fantastic, the physics were working, there wasn't anything buggy about it, so I'm imagining they've just got more characters and maybe more tracks to work on, but for now there's plenty of game here to sink your teeth into and it's great to have something to maybe come back to and see where they're up to in the development and it's also nice to see that it's not just a broken tech demo because you can never quite be sure with early access games. It's always surprising to see how they turn out and I think if I could define this game by any word it would be surprising. Chicken Toilet Racer. Didn't see that one coming. Alright that's the scoop for this week but don't forget to check back on the ABC Me app tomorrow for a full Spawn Point game review. Until next time, deuce out. Good work game picker guy. Is that your title? It's gonna be that now.